Chris, you have too much time on your hands, someone said. In my head, I thought, you don't have enough time on your hands. I mean, everyone's got a limited amount of time. The smart people spend their time doing something they like doing. What do I like doing? It's hard to say. I think whatever I like doing, I do so much that it becomes unlikable. The other day I was thinking, why did we evolve to sleep at night when the sun goes down? Living a lifestyle where I kind of do one thing, cruise the internet, develop software, play video games, it's all on the computer. That doesn't take a lot of energy, physical energy anyway, and so I kind of find myself having longer days, and then I get out of sync with the rest of the world. One night stay up till 10, and then the next night stay up till 2, and then the next night stay up till 4, and it just keeps progressing like that because I have long days. Thinking why do people have these complex schedules where they do a bunch of different things during the day. Experiencing both busy schedule and not busy schedule, having those two perspectives makes me think those busy schedules make days seem longer. The non-busy schedule, when I'm constantly doing something I like doing to an unhealthy level because there's no balance but those days seem very short at the end of the day when it's like oh I'm exhausted and I need to sleep now those days seem short like the passage of time everything went by so fast because of, you know time flies when you're having fun that it just goes by quickly it feels like it anyway even though it's actually a longer day when you go to a buffet there's all these choices of food do you eat just one thing over and over? Maybe you do. I know me, I, I'm not like that. Every plate, if I go back several times, it's going to be a different plate every time. And that makes for a really good meal. It's like you got a little sample of everything. I think it's the same way for lifestyles. There's my dog. It's good to have variety. Now that I've tried no variety, I <laughs> know it's not fun. Gotta get that variety back. I'm looking for a job, not something technical. Um, there's this guy, Chris the Carpenter, Rocket Brand Studios. He has a YouTube channel. Laser cut parts, parts for robots and microcontrollers. He recently gave up doing that. He had a little online store and he said he was very busy doing that, but he missed his hobby, which was doing that sort of thing. It became a job. Phil from Adafruit says, if you make your hobby a job, your hobby will be a job. That's kind of what's happening to me. It's like web development could be a job, but I don't take it seriously. I don't learn the right way to do things. I just learn to do things. If it's all I do, then it, it's hard for it to be a hobby anymore. And that's what I want it to be. I wanted to escape from my job, and I have that now. And now I'm free to do whatever I want. I can do anything. And that's exciting and uh, scary at the same time. I'm going to find a non-technical job, something like food service or dishwashing, cleaning, something that's kind of active, that I could be around people and you know get back to being able to talk to people in person. If that's part-time, that'd be great because then I could still have my hobby of web development. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm just trying to stay positive. I had a nice walk today. <laughs> okay, well that's it. I'm gonna go hit some stuff with my stick some more. Thanks for listening and thanks for accepting who I am as I am. Right, because that's you, the viewer. You're like that. Thank you. Oh, how you gonna get down that poppy? How you gonna get down? Oh, you got down! Ooh, I like this one because the adhesive is also a sticker. Taking them on two at a time. Her lips, her hips, and her big behind. She's dangerous on the dance floor.